All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and uh, I just did this, this online duel real quick. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, quick, a quick dark deck I uh, crafted real quick because I'm awesome. And, uh, you know, I like to focus on it's time cards that let me draw, cards that give me life points, like this little parasite dude right here. So, this guy goes first. This is like one of my first online duels. That I've actually had a decent uh, matchup when I wouldn't use this thought of motion or try to quit. So, you know, it was nice, nice to have it. So, I sit down my Winston of the Talk with and I sit down my, my little parasite thing. I'm not even going to try to attempt to uh, pronounce that name. He tribute, he sets a card down, he tributes a monster. So. Things looking pretty epic, epic for this guy right now with his back row. And so, uh, draw the card, he ends his turn. So I draw my card. I got Cosmo Queen and my Maiden in my hand. And I go ahead and set down Crystal Seer because I'm awesome. And then he, his turn. What's he do? I forget. Yeah, that's right. He fills his back row up. And, uh,. He's about to end up for a little surprise when he does that. This boy. I'm thinking he's styling on me. So I go for my Crystal C. I get a Dark Mimic level 1 and a uh, Apache. I just go ahead and pick the Apache and a Chibi Summon for uh, Cosmo Queen. I'm setting everything to keep it secret because I don't want people to. I don't want him to know that I have a big monster on the field. So I draw my card, and I draw into what I call, what I love what I love about this card, straight flush. You might see what it does here in a few seconds if you guys don't know. I go and summon my maiden down there, I like a beast. And uh, each time this maiden over here attacks a monster, uh, she gets 200 attack and a, and a spell counter on it on her. Now I go ahead and uh, use it. He's in trap hole, so nobody, so I mean, magician doesn't get any stupid ideas. So I go ahead and flip up my straight flush because I'm a beast like that. And I just anticipate people to flip their back row because they're not very smart sometimes. I take 400 points of damage because of that, cause of that uh, spell cord that has a, when you, how many ever cards in the hands. You t take 200 damage. So it's okay. So I go ahead and go for the... Uh, my main ends up battling with this chick. And uh, we end up taking him or her, whoever that is, to the Shadow Realm. And uh, I get two. I get 200 points of, of uh, attack, which is awesome. And uh, they go ahead and reveal their ritual magic card, thinking it will help them. But this is this, this man. Does this man don't know. This man didn't even bother to attack my set monsters. He, he he has no idea what what in the hell I'm about to do. So he summons, he's, he summons his turtle dude, thinking he's got a fat 2500 defense. He thinks think that's gonna help him? No! It's not! Not at all! So I pull up my Cosmo Queen like a boss, and I go ahead and collide with this boy over here, because this dude thinks he's, you know, awesome because he did that. So I'm just chilling with my Cosmo Queen, you know, and he's just, he's flipping out because he doesn't have any cards at all, and I'm just chilling. So I go ahead and take my Cosmo Queen again, because I don't know what this is, and I don't want to take any life points of damage. I go ahead and destroy that thing, and my Maiden gets deep within this guy's soul, and he takes a quick 1900 to the face, and I end my turn like a beast, and then he can't do a thing, because he, I mean, unless he has, like, I mean, Big Shield Gardener, which he, which he doesn't, I don't know what he drew right there, but whatever. So I end up drawing my last... Delicious card, and it's faint pass. Doesn't really matter. So I ended up attacking with Cosmo Queen for finishing blow, which is beast on my part. So he ends up losing, I end up dominating, and things are beast. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, you guys already obviously saw what cards I use, but I'm just going to show you this real quick. This deck list real quick. I run these two maiden people. You know, I run these two boys, or these two mams right here. That's what they're called, mams, not boys. And I run uh, Dark Mimic, level 3. 
and Dark Mimic level 1 because I like to have draw power. I like to play conservative, conservative strategies. And I do have the, um, the common charity, which I probably need to look at that more. And I run the Skull Angles just for draw power. It's coming handy with me for sure. And these couple duels I've played. And then I run Heat and Trap Hole, just kind of cripple whatever I need to. And I run this card, Spell Organization, which I think is extremely interesting. Because, um, because, you know, you can look at the top three cards of your deck, then return them to the top of the deck in any order. So, instead of having the game choose what you draw for you, with those, with, with these three cards, with those, with thanks to this card, um, you can actually choose what card you, um, get to draw first, second, and third. I run Faint Plants because Faint Plant is, is a very, very good card in my opinion, because you can... You can set, um, for example, these guys down. You can set pretty much anything down, actually. If you tribute it, summon it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you can uh, stop the battle phase. If you need another draw, you need to stall. Um, straight flush. Don't understand why people don't run this card. Like, seriously. Like, people set their back row down. People set all three of their back row. Boom. You pop that. Done. Finished. It's over. Done. You're not going to recover from that. When you lose the three trap cards, especially trap cards you need, like Mirror Wall, um, you know, especially those cards like that, um, especially Windstorm, set that down, done. I run Common Charity for, of course, draw power. Um, you discard one normal monster, and you get to draw two, but if you don't have a normal monster, you discard a Haunter of Hand, but, but that's okay, because you know, normally if you're smart, look up what normal monsters you need, and uh, I run this guy, um, haven't really used him at all yet, but I'm going to use him uh, whenever I get a chance. Uh, the all fire, all fire attack monsters gain 500 attack, and all water monsters lose 400 attack, which that's not bad at all. I'll take that.